What's good, YouTube? I got a fire Andrew Wiggins build for y'all with elite contact dunks. Y'all know we've been going crazy in the playoffs, catching bodies, putting boys on posters. We're going to get right into the build, though. Just do me a favor and hit that like button. So I'm going to put a video in the description showing y'all how to glitch this build. But we're going to go small forward. And I'm going to point out the few things that you actually normally wouldn't get if you didn't glitch this build. But we're going to go 6 7 180 your winks man you want to go 7-1 and not just the badges bro it's some attributes that you feel me you wouldn't be able to get bro we, we we gonna get into it you feel me it's some heat but we gonna start off with the finishing you gonna go 92 on the driving dunk and that's give you the elite contact dunks you want to put your vertical up to 80 make sure you get your animations and you get in the Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff. That's really going to go crazy with the top tier dunk packages. And your driving layup, you want to put this at 87. So y'all know Wiggins been going to the rack. Right? If your jump shot not falling, just go right to the rack. You got the Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff, Hall of Fame Slithery. So you really, especially with the gold posterizer, bro, because that's, that's what's really giving you your your dunks and everything but the limitless takeoff that pretty much lets you avoid the contact you feel me along with slithery but you get in gold acrobat you definitely could throw that on whenever you get kicked out of your dunk animation your gold acrobat is gonna kick in and that's really a fire badge but don't sleep on that but you gonna have enough badges in the finishing area you feel me to really really be able to utilize a lot of these bro you gonna go 80 now you're gonna go 77 on your close shot so if you want to put your close shot up a little bit higher not even gonna lie you don't get that many badges upgrading your close shot bro you see we only getting one badge going up 10 you feel me but we're gonna leave that at 77 and more importantly you got all the badges you need unlocked bro you could throw a couple extra finishing badges on this build this is yo this is really gonna be crazy all around bruh but you can add a couple finishing on if you want to i'm gonna show y'all what to put on and you can pretty much see how much these badges is worth and everything so you can see you got more than enough not even gonna hold you but if you want to be a little more versatile you could definitely definitely add a couple i wouldn't i wouldn't add no more than two yeah probably two finishing badges on this one but your defense bruh so Wiggins been locking up in the playoffs and we're gonna go with a 94 perimeter. So one thing you could now we're gonna we gonna get to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that on the steal. But we get in Hall of Fame clamps, you got Hall of Fame pick dodger, hustler, ankle braces. These are all badges you need. I definitely would go Hall of Fame clamps. You feel me? If you don't go Hall of Fame on the other ones, gotta go Hall of Fame clamps on this one. And your steel rating bruh so we yeah actually your perimeter is higher on this build too for real for us since you glitched it but your steel this is what's really crazy you get a 97 steel you get an extra badge right there you get in the hall of fame ball stripper six sevens is not supposed to get hall of fame ball stripper because a max a max wingspan six seven could only get 96 steel you feel me and Yo, it's, it's really just a couple more things, bro. For real, for real. Because your three ball is going to be higher on this uh, on this build, even though you got the uh, Hall of Fame pickpocket, Hall of Fame interceptor. You get like a max wingspan 6'7. You can only get a 79 three ball. But you can max your wingspan out on this build higher than that. Your block rating, we're going to put we're going to put that up to 75. And you getting the silver rim protector. You definitely, you definitely gonna have good defense on this build. Even when you get to the rack, this 75, as long as you equipping your badges, bro, this 75 is gonna do a lot, bro. Not even gonna hold you. You still gotta have good timing, but with the silver rim protector and the silver intimidator and the silver chase down, bro, you good. Not even gonna hold you. 
I probably you you feel me? You don't even need Pogo. You can add a couple defensive badges on this build, but Wiggins not really a rebounder. You could throw interior defense on this build if you want to, but made like it is, it's not gonna get it's not gonna give you the uh, the rim takeover. So not even gonna hold you. We got 21 defensive badges, and yeah, that's pressure right there. The playmaking. Oh, hold on. Now a max wingspan six seven. You feel me? A six seven, a regular six seven with the Hall of Fame interceptor. I mean with the Hall of Fame pickpocket. Not supposed to have 85 ball handle, but you getting the 85 ball handle on this build. And you really you bro, you a pure lockdown <laughs> with 85 ball handle. You gonna have that curry slide and you got Quick chain, quick chain is one of the badges that six seven is not even supposed to have, bro. We gonna we gonna go to quick chain real quick. So you feel me? You see, you gotta be six six or shorter, and you six seven. So that's some heat right there. You get the curry slide with the eighty five ball handle. Put up your speed with ball, and six seven is not supposed to have eighty speed with ball. So with eighty speed with ball, we getting the gold quick first step very important badge bruh really for everybody so you know you gotta have that on and have it maxed out your pass act we gonna put this up and bro, you really could sauce up bro, with that 85 ball handle but the pass act we gonna put that up to 23 and really you good right there 23 playmaking badges is solid you could you could do a lot with that i wouldn't even add playmaking badges onto this build Adding finishing, shooting, and defensive badges, bruh. <laughs> yeah, that's what's really gonna make your build go crazy. We gonna get to the finishing, though. You feel me? That's one area. You feel me? You you might not have to throw. You feel me? Extra badges on, but the shooting. So you get in a 83 three ball on this build. You get in the gold uh, high zone hunter. You got Hall of Fame sniper. And you feel me? A six seven with the uh, you feel me with the with the ninety six still. This where your three ball would be. You feel me? You wouldn't have these shooting badges. You feel me on this pure lockdown. <laughs> but if you went with like a minimum wingspan, like a shorter wingspan build, like a shorter wingspan six seven. You feel me? They get the eighty five ball handle. You wouldn't have defense like this, bro. Like you would have maybe a 90 92 perimeter defense and you feel me you wouldn't have had a hall of fame clamps bro so that's really was pressure you wouldn't have had a steal that high your block wouldn't be 75 so this is really the glitch really just lets you be crazy well-rounded bro for real for real but your free throw we're gonna put this up to 71 real quick a fire build all around Again, we're going to get to the badges. You got 25, 20, 23, and 21. Fire, bro. <laughs> Yo, your defense is crazy. Your acceleration, we're going to put this up real quick. You want to go 84. And your speed, you want to put that up to 87. Yeah. I probably would go 86 right here. You feel me? Just so you get that. Just so you get that extra badge, you feel me? You get that Hall of Fame ball stripper. But we good right here. You got 25, 20, 23, and 21. And your takeovers, you got the slashing, sharp, and the lock tape. You could get like if if you wanna if you wanna put interior defense on, you wouldn't be able to get the rim takeover. But you would be able to get the playmaking if you switched it up a little bit. But we good right here. We're gonna go with a sharp takeover nah bro y'all probably would go with yeah I, I definitely would go with the sharp takeover the second one probably go with a lock perimeter badge drop do go crazy you already got hall of fame clamps but you get a two way inside out score and we gonna get to the badges real quick max this out so you're finishing, bro. So we're going to start off with the badges that you need for sure. Posterizer, Slithery, 
limitless takeoff. Your putback boss, you definitely want to put that on. Grace under pressure. You you probably want to put this at least on bronze, bruh. But acrobat, I probably would say, would it be in worth five on gold, bruh? I'll probably go acrobat and fast twitch, you feel me? Just to, just to make sure you, you, you a little more well-rounded, you feel me? You got the, the fast twitch on, but you still could finish, you feel me, in the paint. Like, you're not losing nothing with that. You can add two extra badges on if you want to put one of these on gold. But onto your shooting. And I know y'all got a lot of extra badges, bruh. <laughs> your shooting, we're going to go blinders. Green machine, we getting 20. You got lucky seven. Sniper, high zone hunter, and... Yeah, I probably I probably have switched this out. I probably have swap out the green machine till you add that extra badges. Throwing your stop and pop, catch and shoot, and corner specialist, bruh. Perfect setup right there. Other than that, when you add your extra badges, yeah, like your circus threes, bruh. Like you're not even supposed to get circus threes. Nah, 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 it's chef, bruh. Yeah, you're not supposed to get chef as a six seven. You feel me? So that's some heat right there. You actually get that on silver. I would throw that on. You feel me? If you actually shoot from out there, but playmaking, you see you got enough. You could throw on a bullet passer, gold hyperdrive, quick chain gold. I, I would put that on. Quick first step, unpluckable. And it's for days you want to go silver. So I probably would go silver right there. And throw on your bellow, bro. Perfect setup. You can add playmaking badges. But you feel me? You you really probably better off just switching it around, you feel me? Dropping down your bullet passer. Cause Yeah, you feel me? Bro, I ain't gonna hold you. That's that's what I would do. <laughs> you feel me? I go. Bronze right here. You feel me? That way I could throw that on gold. Or you could throw on your, your space creator with them two points. What? Your defensive rebounding. Clamps Hall of Fame. Interceptor Hall of Fame. Pickpocket. Hustler Chase Down. And you definitely want to add some extra badges in the defensive area, bruh. You got to use these Hall of Fame badges, bruh. Ankle braces. So when you add your extra badges, you want to put on Pig Dodger. I would say at least silver, you feel me? I probably would go for gold. Intimidator, you want to throw that on. And Menace Bronze, bruh. I really wouldn't even put... I wouldn't put Menace no higher than that, but... Room Protector... Yeah, upgrade that. Yeah, so probably just these three badges and a bronze menace, you feel me? But I'm going to hit y'all on the next one. It's really a crazy build. Really well-rounded, bro. You got the elite contact dunks. You got gold high zone hunter, you feel me? So you can shoot from anywhere. Gold quick chain on a 6-7, bro. This some heat. But I'm going to hit y'all on the next one.